Elena conducts two experiments to determine the reaction between copper and silver nitrate. In experiment one, the Elena adds a small amount of copper to a test tube containing silver nitrate. The solution changes from colorless to blue after a while. Uh, the first question, 2.1, we're supposed to define the term oxidizing agent. The oxidizing agent undergoes reduction. What is a reduction? Reduction is the gaining of electrons. So the oxidizing agent is the substance that gains electrons, or rather a substance that is being reduced. That is the answer to 2.1. Let's take a look at 2.2. Explain why the solution turns blue by referring to the relative strength of the oxidizing agents. So let's go ahead and compare copper copper 2 plus and silver silver plus let's go ahead and compare these two by referring to the relative strength of the oxidizing agents ag plus is a stronger oxidizing agent compared to copper 2 plus we're gonna have copper losing two electrons to form copper 2 plus and this copper 2 plus is where the color blue is coming from. The color of copper 2 plus is actually blue. Let's take a look at 2.3. Experiment 2. So in experiment 2, the learner now sets up a galvanic cell as shown below. The cell functions under standard conditions. 2.3. Write down the energy conversion that takes place in this cell. We know the energy conversion that takes place in a galvanic cell. That is chemical energy to electrical energy. Anyway, stories. Let's go ahead and take a look at 2.4. In which directions will N ions move in the salt bridge? Before we answer any of those questions, let's determine first whether copper or silver will be the anode or the cathode. Just like we have already deduced in 2.2, copper is going under oxidation. It is getting oxidized. Oxidation occurs at the anode. So this is our anode and this is our cathode. Now we can answer our questions. 2.4, in which directions A or B will N ions move in the salt bridge? So N ions, they move towards the anode and kept ions move towards the cathode. It is easy to see that the N ions are moving towards A. Uh, 2.5, calculate the EMF of the above cell under standard conditions. So the EMF of the above cell under standard conditions, we're gonna have the reduction potential at the cathode minus the reduction potential at the anode. This is equals to. At the cathode, we have silver. What is the reduction potential? 0 0.8 minus the reduction potential of copper Q+. Uh, that is, you have to make sure that you're picking the right one because there's a few coppers on your table of standard reduction potentials. It is 0 0.34. If you put this in your calculator or you just compute it in your head, you shall get 0 0.46 volts as the initial EMF of the cell above. Uh, that is 2.5. Let's take a look at 2.6. Write down the balance equation for the net reaction that takes place in this cell. Well, uh, at the anode, at the anode, we have copper getting oxidized to copper 2 plus plus 2 electrons. And then at the cathode, we have silver plus plus an electron to give us silver. Oxidation half reaction, reduction half reaction. If you look at the oxidation half reaction, we have two electrons. If you look at the reduction half reaction, we have one electron. So what you want to do in a case like this is to multiply out by two where you have only one electron. So let's go ahead and do that here at the cathode. We're gonna have two Ag plus 
plus two electrons to give us two Ag. You're gonna see uh, right now why I'm saying we should do that. Now, when you have these two equations, what you need to do is to add the left hand size together and you add the right hand size. Let's go ahead and do that. If we do that, we're gonna have copper plus two Ag plus plus two electrons uh, to give us copper two plus plus two electrons plus two Ag. In a case like this, we call these electrons spectators. They're not taking part in our reaction. So we can drop them and be left with Cu plus 2Ag plus to give us Cu2 plus plus 2Ag. And this is our overall reaction. In an exam situation, this is what is needed. All of this junk is just me trying to show you how it comes about. Uh, 2.7, how will the addition of 100 centimeter cube of one mole per decimeter cube of silver nitrate? Solution to the silver half cell influence the initial EMF of the cell. Write down increase, decrease, or remain the same. In our standard conditions, with regards to the concentration, we need the concentration to be one mole per decimeter cube. So this change is not changing our standard conditions because the concentration is still one mole per decimeter cube. So the initial EMF will remain unchanged. The answer here is remains the same. 